Yo, what's going on guys, Wadey here, and um, <clears throat> this is a little tutorial I'm doing because I've had a few requests over the past like few like months or whatever, and a lot of people asked me how I was doing my velocity, and this is a really bad clip, let me just choose like all shots. Alright, so um, basically what's, what I'm going to do is, what you, what you first want to do is you want to choose your markers, you want to choose where you want your shots to be synced. So now, normally what I do a lot of the time, um, you'll hear it in this song. There isn't actually a sync here, but it's fine because when the shots are all at the same like gap between each other, it looks fine. It sounds fine. And I do it quite a lot, and it also helps out because the fifth shot, the fifth shot is actually on the uh, clip. So I'm sorry about all the um, background noise you're going to hear. I have to record with my mic on the. I have to record with my mic on the. Um, laptop because my computer doesn't recognize my mic for whatever reason and it would be twice as worse so yeah so what you first want to do is you want to get velocity if you don't have to get velocity it's instant slash remove envelope and just velocity insert sorry um, so what I normally do is I normally um, I normally just play the song slowly so I like drag it this down to about 3% now um, I can do 3% because I am on 500 FPS but if you're going to do 300, which is what a lot of people have to do, the slowest you I go personally is 10%. Um, maybe because if my maths was right, 10% uh, of the 300 would be 30. I'm not very good. So, and what I do is I've got this little blank part here, and uh, what I'm going to do is you want to do two markers like this. You want to space them out roughly like this. Um, what? Did I leave that on? Put that back down to three. You want to leave them roughly about here, and you just double click to do the markers and drag it up until the, he go like he hits the shot. And you can move this back for it to work better. All right, so that's the marker shot there. And uh, what you want to do is how I do it is you want to go two frames along like that, just two. Uh, the reason I do two is because I don't like the. Um, when the gun goes like that and people slow it down, to me it looks awful, it's just ugh. So two frames like that, so on this part here, you want to put a marker here, and then you want to go along to two after that, and you want to put another marker, and then drag it down to about 24%, and this is because it doesn't look too slow like that, so it slowly builds up, and then it looks really clean and nice and uh, cool see someone I don't know um, yeah so you just want to repeat this but uh, when it comes up to the next shot you want to start quite early the, the speeding up um, because it gradually goes up and looks a lot better and then obviously um, move this back so you see the hit mark shot and again just two frames and then go back to the first one make that first make that first and go to one again it all depends on how this looks if this looks like that then that's what you want it to look like so you just go down again and go back down to 24 percent and then just watch that and um, yeah so that's just how I do it guys um, not saying you have to do it like that I just think this is the best way personally and uh, I hope this did help I'll just do it one more time for you uh, right, and then move that along. Marker two, go two, and then that, and then just drag it down to 24, and then just continue it. It looks really nice. Also, I'll show you what I do for the finisher. So I'll just whiz through this really quickly. Um, I'll make it a bit slow. That two frames again. And this also depends on the person's playing style. It might not, um, I know it sounds really weird, but some people I edit for, the way they scope it in, they like stay scoped in for too long and uh, it makes it go like diagonal straight away. So, um, But it still looks nice, like, oh god, oh damn. It still looks really nice. Uh, people could say this is a really strange way of doing it because people have their own ways. Yeah, this is how I do the finisher. So, the finisher, it has like, I don't know how to describe it, it has a really nice recoil to it. So what I do is I go one frame and then go in between them two frames, like there, 
and then I'll go about two two frames here and I'll slow it down but I won't slow it down the way I'll do it to about 66 and then I come out here and then I'll just like pull that down to three and then it just looks better in my opinion it looks a lot better like it sort of just sort of like just looks better so I hope this helped guys um, obviously you add your gun sounds and all the rest of that stuff and then you add your own effects but that's just how I do it I think it looks really nice uh, yeah guys uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later